Welcome to part 9 of this training series. In this video, I'll give you a brief tutorial on how to use a system dynamic software for doing causal loop diagrams. This is the same software program that was used for the modeling session done for the case study workshop, as demonstrated in video 6. If you go to Benson.com, you'll be able to obtain the software. You don't have to use a software program for doing the causal loop diagrams. Instead, you could just draw a causal loop diagram using a pencil and paper. But if you do decide to use a software, this tutorial will explain a few of the basic concepts. Let's take a look. Although there's tons of functions in this software and it may look intimidating at first, there's actually only a few functions that you need to know how to use in order to draw a causal loop diagram. The first is our stock variable. To do that, go up to where it says level and click on that. Go onto your map and click and type in your stock variable name. There you go, there's our stock variable. Second is the flow variable and that's over here next to the level. Just click on variable, click down here again, and type in your name, your variable name. And there's our flow variable. Next, we'll put in our causal link to do that. You go up and click on this arrow sign, click on uh, the variable that's the cause, and stretch it over to your effect variable, click on that, and then you can just click on this little circle here to pull it and make it curved. And that's our causal links. To do the polarity signs, I'm on a Mac, so I do a control click to open this box, and then I could put either a plus or a minus sign for my polarity links. If I want to put it on the outside so I can see it better, I can click on that. And I'll press that, and there we have it. There's our little minus polarity sign right there. And the other uh, function that you need to know is the feedback loops. So before we can do that, we need to create another arrow. So we click on our arrow and we go from the cause to the effect and we can pull that. And then to do the um, feedback loop symbol, just go up to where it says comment, click on comment. And then click in the middle of your loop. And you can choose either uh, loop clockwise or loop counter, depending on which direction your loop is going. In this case, we're going counterclockwise. And we're going to type in a reinforcing feedback loop. And press OK. And there's our reinforcing feedback loop sign. And if you want to do a balancing one, Let's go ahead and do another flow variable. Click on the variable button and press death. And do our arrows from the cause to the effect. And click on the circle and stretch it over. And do another one here from our cause to our effect. Click on the little circle and pull it down. And again, to do the feedback loop sign, we go up to comment, click on comment, and then come down here and click on in the middle of your feedback loop. This time we're going to type in the comment section here a B, and it's going to be clockwise. So we click on that option, press OK. And there we have our feedback loops. And the last um, function that I want to show you is the time delay. So we go back and get our little um, symbol, our little mouse symbol onto the arrow. Click on the arrow and we'll do a control click. And up here in this dialog box, there's a delay mark right there. So we click on the delay mark, press OK. And there we have our little delay mark. I'll show you again on this one. So control click on this little dot. We get our box opening up, our dialog box and choose this uh, box here where it says delay mark, click on that, press OK, and there we have our other delay mark. If you make a mistake and you want to delete something, you can uh, find the little delete button up at the top, which gives you this little Pac-Man, and you can 
delete something that you want to get rid of, such as that. If you want to move things around, go up here to your move, the little hand size, the little hand symbol, and click on whatever you want and just pull it down and it moves it. And there you have it. Those are the basic functions of, um, the, of doing causal diagrams in Benson software.